States market. <clears throat> Today I'm gonna to talk about the Girls Rites of Passage workshop that I put on once a year. This was created many, many years ago by two beautiful women who had the call um, to start this work, um, teaching girls about a rites of passage. And um, my daughter was lucky to have done this work with them in 2011. I began to co-facilitate this work. I was deeply uh, found this work to be so fascinating, so healing, and become so passionate. I began to learn more and more. And um, now I'm performing these, these uh, workshops um, on my own. And I will be doing another one in December of 2019 to January 2020. Um, and it'll be done in Ann Arbor this year at the Enlightenment Soul Center. Um, and there are one or two spots left, so it's, it's going to be fun. Um, I love holding women in circle, but I also love this work with the girls. It is something that they really just get. Uh, once you put the girls in a circle and they understand that it's safe and it's sacred and uh, they remember, they begin to remember these, these ancient ways of being a woman and they are, uh, all that fear just, it just is gone and they become quite vulnerable and open. And it's just beautiful how they just take in these women mystery teachings. And when they have their period, they are so excited to share this with the world and they want a ceremony so that they can be seen for their beauty and their gifts. So this is a part of the workshop that, we, that I do with the girls. Um, we meet for a couple of times and a lot of these mysteries about their period and intuition and feelings are, are, are taught and they're shared. Um, they get to share about how they feel about all of these things because a lot of this stuff is gonna be coming up and a lot of times if they're not held or they're not taught in a beautiful way, or they're not taught at all about all of these, these things that are happening to their bodies and to their mind and to their spirit, then they begin to shut it down. Uh, a lot of us lose our intuition at the age around 12 when we're going, beginning our period as women. It is a gift, it is a feminine gift of intuition. So we might have seen fairies or danced with them or just saw things or knew things and this get heightened during our puberty time. And if we aren't supported in being held and knowing that this is all normal, then we begin to shut those gifts down. And um, they, they may be able to come out later in that mama bear mode, but it's, it's really sad that a lot of these gifts have been shut down for lifetimes. So we really talk about that and the girls really remember all of it. It's so easy for them. They, they, they love it and they want more. And I also meet with the moms alone because this is a time where a lot of stuff can come up to, depending on how they were able to transition from girl into womanhood. If it was easy or if it wasn't so easy, a lot of stuff will be coming up. So able to support the moms during this time too. There is a therapist that comes in and talks to the dads, teaches them about how to support their daughter and how important that male role is in his life. Uh, a lot of the dads kind of freak out because they think we're going to talk about, you know, sit in a circle and talk about periods, but it has nothing to do really with periods. It has to do with how to support your daughter and so that you can take that relationship that you have when they're a little girl and continue to evolve it and grow as she becomes a woman. Because a lot of times the fathers will begin to see her develop and want to push that away and they want her to be that little girl, and it's just a really confusing time for, for a young one. But if he knows his proper place and his role in that, it can, it can blossom very, very beautifully. And I've seen that with my daughter and with my husband, and how beautiful and uh, that has been an opportunity for growth for him and for her. Um, we also meet with the moms and the daughters and we create this beautiful circle together and where there's a lot of sharing and um, it's just so beautiful to see all different types of women and girls sharing different experiences, sharing um, their gifts and, and what works for them during their period. So, and, and, and the girls love this. It's, it's very, very rare that girls get to sit in a safe space with other women and to hear stories about menstruation and what it is to be a woman. 
um, and they you can just begin to see them just getting fuller and fuller and fuller and when it is time for them to get their period they're really ready they're really excited to be a woman and um, and this is a huge shift from what I remember and what I've seen but I know that from experience of having a daughter um, going through that and witnessing all of these young girls going through that there's really this beautiful blossoming of that young maiden into accepting her womanhood and her beautiful gifts and then they're craving that safety they're creating circle they're creating they're craving circles and um, an intimacy with each other um, the girls are instead of this this competition and creating separation of, from each other once they get a taste and remember what it, how it is to be beautiful and, and to be accepting in a community of women, then they begin to create and wanting more and more of those kind of relationships with other women and with other girls, which is very beautiful to see. Um, I also do ceremonies. It's not a have to, but if a girl would like to um, be celebrated with her family and friends, I can do private ceremonies. And I've also done group ceremonies where um, it's just mothers and girls and they either have to have had their period or be the age of 13. And that's very beautiful. I really enjoy doing the groups too. So this is just a little bit about the girls' rites of passage. Either women are intrigued and they want to know more about what I do or they're resistant and either way is fine. I just really wanted to for you to understand what a girl's rites of passage is and what I kind of do um, a couple times a year. There is a waiting list for the May of 2020. Um, either the girls haven't been of age yet and they want to be on the waiting list or they have heard about my work through the through the year and then I just kind of create a, a list for the next class. So if you're interested, please contact me and I will put you on the list. The ages is for um, probably uh, ages about 10 to about 13. And um, I will be doing those in Rochester in May. Hope you're well and um, having a beautiful day. Take care. Mwah.